All right, here's some more video as I put it together. Um, a couple of things I'll mention. I don't really want to take it back apart because I got all the pins and dowels and stuff in there. But there'll be a pressure plug. Uh, it's going to be somewhere over in here. Make sure that the pressure plug lines up with the right spot on um, this. I don't even know how to pronounce it, but it's like a Gorilla or something. And uh, what you'll find is in it, it'll have two notches on this side edge. And that'll align with a hole that's on the side of the bottom housing. So um, let's fluid kind of pass through this hole. So you'll see this hole lines up uh, here. If, if you have one that's used, you'll see little wear marks because in the bottom of this plate, there are three pins, one over in here, I think two and three. And those three pins hold this in place to keep it from spinning, which is what keeps it stationary on this uh, pressure pin that's a that's, uh, little pressure plate thing that's underneath here. So line all those things up. Easy way to do it is just to take a Sharpie. You'll put the little, it looks like kind of a brass colored plug. You'll put that in uh, and then you can make a mark on the case where that's at. And then you make sure that that part of your um, uh, Gorilla thing gets, gets lined up. Uh, and then the, another easy thing to do is I just put a Sharpie marker and I put them on the housings so that the housings go back together uh, the same way. So I just I quickly put an A and an A uh, just so that I kind of knew that was the side and the direction and everything that was on it and which pieces went together. Uh, so I have all this ready to go and then the next thing will be to put in the um, part of the little um, <laughs> like a wobbler, I don't know what they would call it, but it's part of the hydrostatic piece of it. Don't forget to put your little balls in there. Uh, so this will drop down uh, basically in those, um, it's gonna drop down in between all these dowels. It's really snug fit, so it's hard to do. Um, so I'm gonna have to probably pause so I can use both hands, but that's kind of how it goes in. And then once it's all back together, you put the last uh, piece on it. Uh, and again, make sure you line up the holes. Uh, all, you want all the holes to line up like they're supposed to. I marked that housing too. Uh, so it's got an A on the side of it. Uh, so I'll, I'll line that all up. If you need to, like there's a orifice here, uh, like, you know, basically a, um, a line that comes out of that. And you can kind of line that up if you take some pictures before you start. Uh, but they kind of all come out of the same side because all the lines come out of the same side when you see it in the machine. So I'm uh, gonna go ahead and drop this guy in there and uh, see if I can put this and just put some bolts together. Uh, and then um, got some other things to work on, so. Uh, I'll maybe take some video of some other stuff I got to do. I have to take a one of the inline filters. I'm going to take it apart and replace the media inside. So I might do a video of that. But uh, that's kind of how this assembly comes back together.